Welcome to our second episode on Codit. On this episode I'm going to show you how you can build a doorbell that will send a notification to your phone. The things we're going to use is this Telstick Duo, which is a radio transmitter and radio receiver. We're going to use this wireless doorbell system that will be triggered by this Telstick Duo. So this package includes a button as well as the alarm. So let's open this. <laughs> this button will trigger this alarm, but between we're going to have a Telstick Duo that will send a push notification to my phone. So let's just plug this into the wall and it should be ready to go. So, now after putting in the batteries in this one, we can now connect this Telstick Duo to the computer. So let's do that. Now this one will trigger the Telstick Duo. So now grab your coffee and let's dig into some coding. Now first off, we need to declare our variables. We're going to use the npm package Teldus and we're going to use express for setting up a server and we're going to use request for sending uh, post requests and now we're going to declare our app our express app there we go and after that we're going to listen on the port 3000 with a function now I have already added my uh, devices to the Teldus center so there we have my button and there we have my bell so if I press this one you hear a bell so there will be another tutorial for you that you can watch to see how you can add your devices to Teldus center so now we need a listener and a teldus add device function and there we have the device id and the status so now you need to know what id you have on your uh, button that will trigger the alarm and the push notification i know mine if the device id is six then we're going to log out. Someone rang on your door bell. First off, we're going to uh, make the alarm, make a ring sound. So tell this, turn on. And the ID of the device, in my case, it's eight with a function. And after that, we're going to send a post request to uh, the API I'm going to use for sending the push notification. So request dot post and then we're going to fill in the API messages dot JSON. And after that we're going to have a callback function error response and the body and response dot status code is equal to 200 notification has been sent to the phone there we go and of course, we need to send some uh, data over, so dot .form and an object with the token you will retrieve from uh, pushover.net. So you just go to pushover.net and uh, register and just retrieve all your uh, credentials from here. You download the app that you want the push notification to come to. I will fill in my token later. But then we're going to add a user token 
that you also can retrieve from uh, pushover.net and then your device that you want to get the notification to. In my case it's Samsung and then you're going to fill in what title you want on the push notification with a message. Someone rang on your doorbell. There we go. And that should be it. You can now go ahead and try your code. So now when uh, this is done, we can go ahead and try this out. Someone rang on your door. Let's see. There was someone that pressed your doorbell. Go and check. So. This package came with this one, so you can attach it to the wall, like this, you remove this, perfect. So hopefully everything worked out well for you. Until next time, hit the subscribe button and comment below what you want me to do next.